This action may well have brought our nation closer to another endless war. Democrats say they feared the worst as Iran promises revenge for the U.S. airstrike that targeted and killed one of Iran's most powerful and prominent military figures. The question we have to be asking ourselves today is whether Qasem Soleimani is more dangerous to the United States alive or dead. Democratic Senator Chris Murphy says the White House should have consulted with Congress before the airstrike that killed General Qasem Soleimani. By midday Friday, the Pentagon ordered an additional 3,000 troops to the Middle East to prepare for counterattacks. We did not take action to start a war. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says Soleimani was responsible for the deaths of hundreds of American servicemen and women and was plotting more attacks. The risk of doing nothing was enormous. Iran has always been the big bully on the block. Kansas Republican Senator and Marine veteran Pat Roberts says Iran brought this on themselves. You can't sit by and do nothing. There had to be a response. Illinois Republicans Rodney Davis and Adam Kinzinger agree. Will there be escalation? Yes, but the escalation is not on our part. We're finally responding to continued provocation. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell says the Trump administration will brief the entire Senate on the attack early next week. In Washington, Raquel Martin.